All right, so we had a lot of people wanting to know what our setup looks like here. Here we are at the Tom Ridge Environmental Center where our headquarters is located. And just past the hill here is our 12 unit gourd rack. And the camera one is at the bottom right there. You can kind of see it. And we're about to band and clean out the nest. Mercedes. Our biologists, our field biologist is reaching in and getting everybody out of the nest. You see our camera mount there, hot glue and a lot of extra caulking and everything. Okay, we're ready to band our famous friends here. See everybody's in the bucket there. And I think this is Pee Wee right here. He's got the shorter tail just because he's one day younger than the rest. He's not any less healthy. In fact, he feels, he feels like a good weight and his feathers are progressing fine. So he'll be the first. And he is going to be... X as in X-ray 644. So our birds, when we don't drop the bands, our birds get two bands each. They get a colored band on their right leg. The needle out of there. Colored band on their right leg and a silver federal band on their left leg. Uh, the color band is way easier to read than the federal band. Federal band has, how many numbers does it have? Nine numbers on it. So we'll go ahead and band his left leg now. These are special pliers that are made for banding birds. that it didn't pinch. Everything's good. All right, buddy, you're set. Now we'll know we'll know him when he returns next year and we read his band. Go ahead and do the siblings now. As you can see, they're pretty calm through the process. Every now and then you'll get a squawker, but... At this age, they tolerate it pretty well. The parents don't mind, they're out feeding right now. Nobody's dive bombing us or squawking or anything. We band every single bird that hatches at our four study sites and any adults that we catch that aren't already banded. And we can tell survival from that information. We see who returns. We can look at migration and dispersal by banded birds that show up in other places. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's one of the most useful research tools for ornithologists and it's easy to do and that's how we really got the first uh, definitive evidence 
of migration by marking a bird and then seeing it somewhere else. Before that, it, you know, it was suspected, but there wasn't any scientific evidence for it. This is our last one. And then we'll be cleaning out the nest and putting in fresh nesting material, which is going to be a little weird because of the camera mount on our camera gourd. So it's, um, we're not going to film that one, but we did clean out another one earlier and I have that dirty nest and we will, I'll show you why we do it, what's in it. But first, take a look, you can see the uh, primary and secondary feathers coming out here, coming out of the, uh, out of the sheaths. And I don't know, you can kind of see, I mentioned on the, the uh, chat that they're kind of a dusty feel. It's from that sheath breaking down. But you can see here, they're doing great. He wants to turn around, he's being shy. So we'll put him back in and then we'll get that dirty nest. So this is from one of the other nests in the gourd. Where's that paper at? Can you spread it out? So, we put it in here. And I'll shake all the uh, critters down. Go ahead and put it on. Take out the bulk of things here. See, there's larva here, there's a bird flea, uh, there will be lice, there we go, this is a good pile right here. See how it's just writhing? So those are all, uh, the majority of those are bird flea larvae. Um, and some fleas in there as well but the reason we do it at this time is to catch the population and reduce it before it gets out of hand it's pretty good it doesn't look like we have any blowfly larvae in this nest there's some fleas on the run here we'll catch some lice in there as well um, but that's the reason that we uh, do these nest changes. The, all these uh, parasites they feed on um, feed on the blood of the nestlings and the adults, and obviously it makes it harder for them to survive if you've got uh, you know parasites sucking your blood. So that's uh, that's why we do it. We just take the old nesting material out. If we have a lot of parasites crawling on the outside of the nest, we'll wipe it down with either wet wet cloth or a alcohol wipe and just put in fresh pine needles is what we use and uh, that knocks those populations down and gives uh, our nestlings a better chance to survive.